Well guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I know some of you guys are probably wondering, why am I digging a hole? Well, on um, one of the Facebook groups that I'm part of, there was a couple of guys that uh, put out a little challenge for a bunch of us creators. And uh, the challenge was, was for us to build a uh, Dakota fire hole. If you're wondering what a Dakota fire hole is, basically, it's a hole in the ground that uh, the indigenous people used to use uh, to cook some of their meals. Now, what makes this, this pretty awesome is not so much the hole in the ground, because really a fire wouldn't really burn that great in a hole in the ground. But what they would do is they would actually make a little tunnel on an angle toward that that'd be towards the wind to help, so that wind would help create uh, like a blowtorch effect, right? So you'd get a nice hot cooking fire. You can get that fire really hot, really fast, cook quick meal. They would even do it underneath a tree to dissipate some of the smoke uh, just so they wouldn't be found. And also the great thing about this is after you're done, you can just throw all the dirt on top and it'll smother your fire out. So I'm gonna get started here at, at uh, at digging out uh, the cross hole and then we'll get a fire going and see if uh, this works for me all right so the hole itself uh, it's about uh, let's say about two feet and I'm probably gonna go about two feet back for my uh, hole basically the winds coming in this way at me right now so Oh, there we go guys, just punch through. Here, come take a look. So, here's my uh, fire hole right here. So that's where my fire's gonna be in. And then this is my little cross tunnel. So, well, pretty big cross tunnel, but now, unfortunately I'm also digging in a, a gravel pit. It's been pretty dry this spring, so I didn't really want to go right into the bush or anything like that. And the gravel pit's nice, kind of safe dirt. It is a little moist underneath the top layer, so that's kind of what I was looking for. So, let's get a fire started. So I did bring my fat wood, but honestly we have this awesome uh, straw sitting right here. So I'm definitely gonna use this. We got our straw, let's get down here. Straw burns really fast, so you always got to make sure that your wood's all ready to go. From the looks of it, I'm actually gonna have to move my rocks here just a little bit. There we go. Well, 
as you guys can see, she's burning really, really good. Um, so, on the menu today, we got chicken hearts. Just plain old chicken hearts. Throw a little uh, salt and pepper with a little Manitoba medley on there. Cook that up. It's actually pretty amazing like how hot this fire is. It's uh, really, really neat. I don't even, I haven't even used that much wood. And uh, I mean, the amount of heat that's coming off, off this is incredible. Well, all I gotta do now is uh, fill in that hole and we're all done. I really ho hope that uh, you learned something here today. It was a fun little project and uh, there's definitely gonna be more, more fun stuff like this in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. It's like I was never here.